I'm Brian Schwarzenberger from Evansville, Indiana. Um, I played in quite a few places. Uh, first place start out was playing in Hawaii and Puerto Rico, and then we traveled across the Midwest, um, some of Canada, uh, so like Ohio, of course, then Chicago. There was a trial camp that was close to my house in uh, French Lake, Indiana. I met Coach Maiden in uh, French Lake, Indiana. Uh, Coach had a tryout camp there, um, and then made the cut and started playing, playing for Coach Maiden after that. It was a really good experience. I got to travel around. Um, you know, like, a, like I said, the first place we went to was uh, Hawaii, and then it kind of led to a life experience after that. Got to move out there for a while you know, after college. Led to quite a few opportunities. The team was awesome. Uh, got to meet a good group of guys, and they weren't from just, you know, people that I grew up with or knew. They were from all over the country, from California to Chicago to New York, and just got to meet a whole different group of guys. It was pretty diverse, um, you know, all different ethnic backgrounds. You know, we had quite a few Hispanic players, white players, black players, and then just all from different demographics too, you know, different levels of life and different experiences. Coach Maiden is a pretty good guy, keeps it fun, makes everything interesting. The best part about it is, you know, Coach is always somebody that not just on the field but off the field has always been somebody that you could reach out to, talk to pretty much any time that you want to. I was, man, how old was I, 16, 17 years old, I think. That was a long time ago when I started playing Coach Maiden. <laughs> I'm 38 now. It is a while, yeah. A lot has changed since then. I think that's a, that's a long time to be, you know, dedicated to one field and dedicated to a passion because I don't think it's just about, you know, coaching baseball for, you know, Coach Maiden. He enjoys it. He enjoys, you know, not just the baseball aspect of it, but getting to, you know, interact with, you know, kids, the youth, community, and everything else. And I think that's what's probably driven Coach Maiden to be in it for four years. It was a pretty good experience. Um, I think the first time I ever made it to Chicago, um, you know, it was different because I came from a, a small, you know, rural community. You know, I traveled a little bit, but never been to a city like Chicago. And I still remember having to drive down to the airport on a, you know, 15 passenger van, dropping off people, making a loop, three lapping, and never being in that type of traffic or, you know, used to the area. It was, it was a fun, fun experience. My wife wanted to go on a family vacation and, you know, I hadn't seen Coach Maiden in, the, in a while. And, you know, if you're in the area, you have to at least call and reach out and, and hang out and reconnect and catch up on stories. And it was, it was fun. No, I mean, I, I enjoyed the whole experience. You know, it wasn't just about baseball. Um, you know, the, the whole experience was just about getting to meet a whole group of people and, and staying connected. I mean, it's been, you know, 20 years for me since, you know, I played for you and, and been around and, you know, it's probably been six years or so since we've talked last, but, you know, throughout the years, we've always stayed in contact, you know, a phone call here, a phone call there, you know, coming up and visiting, but, you know, made a, made a friend through the, through the league. And it, for me, it just led to, a, you know, a lot of opportunities. Like I said, I got, you know, without this, you know, baseball connection, I would have never, you know, thought about moving out to Hawaii. You know, never would have experienced it, never would have went out there at that age, you know, if it wasn't have been for this baseball program. And that's what actually led to me, you know, meeting my wife, starting my family, and, you know, it all kind of started from there. And it's been amazing. What's up, buddy? <laughs>